Hello there. I'm going to be doing uh, three videos here on scripted blocks just because they're so amazing, okay? Uh, I'm going to break it out into three because I think if I had just one video, it would be just too much. Um, so this is going to go over some basic stuff, and then I'll go over some, like, bl bugs and glitches, and then I'll also go over uh, this uh, control panel that I built um, with scripted blocks. So... Um, let's get started here. Um, this is a scripted block. It's made to look like a diamond block here, uh, rotated 45 degrees. Um, that's uh, and at one third the size. Um, and also, I have here I'm setting the redstone power to zero when it's initialized. Now then, I have one script in here, but it's at three different places. It's uh, in the interact. Um, tab, the click tab, and <clears throat> let me see, it's in, oh, the fall upon tab, yeah. So it's all the same uh, script, it just says uh, set redstone power to, and then it gets the current power and adds one to it. And if the power is equal to four, it sets it back to zero. So, if I click on it, it'll open that door. Click on it again, third, second, third door. Like that. And then click on it again, it'll go to zero. Now then, what it's doing is just putting out one redstone power, two, and then three, and then back to zero again. And this is a basic setup that I found to take redstone power off of a, of a line here. Uh, you could have this from one to fifteen. That's what the well, a scripted block can put out power wise anything from 1 to 15 so um, I found this this is two repeaters and a comparator and basically when when the second door is open um, this cancels that out and then so it powers this one in the same way the third one will cancel that out and it will open up the third door so you could control 15 doors with this kind of setup. Um, also works if you jump on it. Uh, it's falling upon, and then I can right click it too. Or left click it, I should say. Left, right, left, right. Um, so that's just a little simple setup of controlling power from a scripted block. Um, this glass is also scripted block. It just has the, uh, just initializes with the block model set to Minecraft glass is all it is. So let's go on to something else here. This is my control panel. I'm not going to cover this. This is a little teaser here. So um, I'll control. I'll cover that in the next video. Uh, because it's going to take probably uh, 15 to minutes to a half hour, <laughs> I figured, um, just to go over that. Uh, okay, this these are all scripted blocks, and they have one script in them that says uh, when the neighbor changes, it will... Basically, if I is equal to zero, it will set it to look like TNT, or if I is equal to uh, one, it will set it to stone. And it, it basically just toggles it back and forth. That's all this little thing does. So, um, and so when the neighbor changes, and that that's recognized by, uh, if I set a block there, see, that'll and then I take it away and it changes back. Um, and it works the same way with redstone. Um, when when redstone's next to it, it, it changes. But this is kind of interesting. This is gonna, probably should be in my turn to TNT because the redstone change next to them, okay? Trigger to change. Uh, but the interesting thing is that when I switch it off, it alternates them. Okay, 
and when I switch it on again it alternates them the opposite way and then one more time it turns it back to stone so um, it's kind of a glitchy thing I should put it in my glitch uh, glitch video but uh, I just wanted to show that aspect of it okay well here's something fun we'll have something really fun here um, I need some arrows and let me get some weapon and I have no armor on okay well we're gonna have to and I'm gonna have to armor up here because this is going to be dangerous uh, where's my helmet there it is oh, why do I have a banjo a violin in my head hmm okay that was weird okay are we ready yeah so here we have this wall that has some TNT in the middle of it so the only way to set it on fire here is with this flaming arrow uh, and then um, something's going to happen here oh see this gateway opens up oh, where's my weapon <laughs> okay oh there's one more guy Oops, see, and the the doorway closed up again. Did everyone see that? We could run through it again if you're... And I'm um, here behind it. So, this is all controlled by a scripted block and a command block. So, what this does is when I shoot that TNT triggers a scripted block which makes this nice little golden archway here and and creates this guy and once I kill him yep, it closes up again so that's pretty cool I thought <laughs> um, here's the uh, there's the TNT and there's the scripted block that basically all that scripted block does is trigger this scripted block down here which makes the archway and then um, spawns those three guys um, and then it also went uh, once the, the the main guy dies this uh, command block oh I can't uh, go into this command block uh, rewrites that scripted block up there basically it places that scripted block with a um, block set or a set block command is what this does yeah so and this is triggered by a redstone signal when when that guy dies um, it sets the redstone right here at the top to one and then to zero so it just flashes a signal right there to this and, and that creates that block up there it all happens uh, pretty seamlessly it's pretty cool so that's what that's all about uh, and I have one more thing here to show you in this video um, and that would be this here this is let's get around here this this is a scripted block this stone block believe it or not there we go okay and it looks like stone um, and when it's powered this is the only script it has in it yeah if uh, if powered is greater than zero it tells what the power is okay simple enough okay so let's go around here to this pressure plate step on it it says 15 okay step on this one it says 13 so 
because that's um, three away there. I'm losing two power. Um, this one says 14. Now the interesting thing is, I should let me go back into so survival. Oops. the easiest way to do this. I'll just, oh, well, yeah. Let's grab that pressure plate. For some reason, when it's set up at a right angle like this, it doesn't register anything. This is another another thing for my glitched, uh, uh, glitch video, but uh, for some reason that doesn't register at an angle like that. You can have, as I showed you with this one, that worked and this 15 works so so here we go this is 14 and so on so right down the line I can just run run down there and then run back again but uh, some strange things happen here at the last one uh, as you see when I got off 14 it went 10 6 2 the power it's kind of like powers down um, not sure if it's supposed to be doing that or not. And the same way with 13, if I, it goes 9, 5, 1, uh, 12 is 8, 4, and that will happen all the way up to here, which is a 5, it'll go 5, 1, but 4, it won't go like, it won't go 4, 1 or anything like that, but I guess it could maybe, but 6, 2, uh, between these two purple blocks. Now then, if I let's take that block off. Okay, 13. If I take that one off, it's just telling me 13. It's not going 13, 9, 5, 1 like it did before. And the same thing if I take that block off, it'll just go 14. But if I put that back on again, it'll go 14, 10, 6, 2. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to count down like that. Let's see. That's 10. See, this one will, though. See, that's between these purple blocks. It doesn't matter if it's... Um, if there's something above it or not. It's just uh, for basically 14 and 13. See, if I do 12, see, 12 will still still give me the powering down level. <laughs> so I'm not sure why that is. So, but that's uh, a way of detecting power, power levels, and things like that. Um, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll have more, as you can see. But uh, that's all. Thanks. Bye.